Hello, Brunson with All Octane here. And in this video, I'm going to open up two of the Hot Wheels premium car culture cars that I was able to find on the pegs, including the Jay Leno Garage EcoJet, as well as the Fast and Furious Skyline, mostly because this is the only one I wanted out of it. They are a lot of repeats. You can see on the back which five cars you're looking for. We've seen them all before, and I think really the only difference are the wheels and maybe a little bit of tampo work. And I just, I couldn't justify it. I've got a budget right now, so I'm trying to budget properly. But first, we're going to open up the Matrix car, the 64 Lincoln Continental. This thing is awesome. This is probably not the best time to admit that I've never seen the Matrix. So I have no idea what this car in the movie is all about. But that doesn't mean that I don't know what a 64 Lincoln Continental is and can appreciate it because it is epic. Take a look at that tampo work. Good stuff. And I'm not really sure what AO, AA034 means. I'm sure you guys can tell me all about it. It's funny because it's only like one letter off from AOO or All Out Octane. Ah, uh, that is kind of scrapey. That's kind of a bummer. Some of the casting, unless that's supposed to be like an antenna. I think that's what that's supposed to be, maybe. Because it feels rough but it's still a stunning car. Again, it kind of shows up blue. My ceiling is blue. Look at that. They got the windshield wipers. Yeah, that's awesome. Good stuff. All right, let's go ahead and open up the EcoJet. And I'm glad that Jay Leno is recovering from his accident with the fire that he had. Speedy recovery to him. I'm glad he's okay. He's definitely one of the most iconic automotive people out there, so it's kind of nice. I believe this is modeled after a Cadillac, if I'm not mistaken. Or is a Cadillac. Pretty simple. It's kinda, it does have the GM badge on there. Kind of hard to see. But it's cool. EcoJet. Fun stuff. Nice to add this to the collection and finish off the five car set. Now we have a sixth car. Last up again is the Skyline R34 from Too Fast Too Furious. Probably, I think, one of the most iconic. I know in the fourth film he drives the blue one, which is also iconic, but I bought this one Strictly for the five spoke rims, the black five spoke rims. I just really like that. It's a great combination. And so that's why I bought it. It'll be like my personal touch to it. I didn't even have to customize it. They did it for me. Great tampo work. Too Fast, Too Furious, 2003. Oh my goodness, is it really that old? It's almost 20 years old. Wow. Epic cars. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you been able to find these? Let me know. And until the next one, have a good one.